So my uncle is a doctor, a small town. He's coming up for retirement. He's built a really successful practice in Jersey. It's one of the British Isles. And I'm always intrigued about success. I said, how did you do this? How did you build such a successful practice, you know, coming from South Africa, you know, fairly late in life? And he said, Justin, you know, it comes right down to my three A's. Very simple. He said, you've got to be able. You've got to know what you're doing. Absolutely. But you guys, you've got to know your food. You've got to know your products. You've got to know your clients. You've got to have knowledge. He says, you've got to be available. He says, when they call, you've got to be there. You know, I've got a client, they've got their sunset claws. If you call, we will get back to you before the sun goes down. You've got to be available. But he said, number three, he said, number three is the most important of all. Be amiable. Be nice. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. He's a doctor. You think that doctor's all about, you know, ability. And then I came across a study at... Uh, in the U.S. Now, the United States is a very litigious society. You know, people get sued very easily. And so insurance companies want to know which doctors are more likely to get sued so they don't insure them. So which doctors do you think are more likely to get sued? You think it was the ones who made the most mistakes, right? Amputated the wrong leg. Yeah. <laughs> Took out the wrong eye. Now, did a castration instead of a circumcision. <laughs> but guess what? The ones who are most likely to get sued are not the ones who make the most medical errors. The ones who are most likely to get sued are the ones who are the most arrogant, spend the least time with their patients, are the most disliked. That doctor does the smallest thing wrong, and you're like, I knew it, I never liked him, I'm going to take him to the cleaners. And the nice doctor, and the wrong thing. Yeah. 